Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick. Welcome back. I'm so grateful you could join me today. I'm back with week two of my 100 Days of Flutters project. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough of the supplies that I used for week two and just kind of share some of the things that I did this week for the 100 Day Project. And yeah, just have some fun. So again, as a reminder, I'm using the World Encyclopedia of Butterflies and Moths um, for this project. And I've linked that up in the description so that you can take a peek at that book. It is from Sally Morgan. It's a great book and I really just like it because I'm learning a lot about butterflies and color and all the wonderful things about butterflies. So this week I changed it up a little bit and I'm using my Princeton Neptune brushes. Now I've had these brushes for a while and I just don't always grab them. So I decided to give them a go this week. Here are the three watercolor palettes I ended up using this week. Now here is my Da Vinci Artist Colors watercolor palette. Now this one, I'll admit, I abandoned for quite some time and I really just wanted to get it back out and play with it. There are so many beautiful sing single pigment colors in this set. It was curated by Tanya at scratchmadejournal.com. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Nice set from Da Vinci. So I really just kind of wanted to give it a little love this week and give it a go. I also used my White Nights this week. And this set right here are my Windsor Newton Professional Watercolors pan set. So um, I have just kind of hand curated these colors into this palette. And I only used this palette this week for one of the butterflies that was predominantly in the color Windsor Red because I really love Windsor Red. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, so I got the White Knight set out again, and I'm just kind of a little bit obsessed with these large pans and the beautiful transparency of this color, so of this set. So I got it back out again this week. Okay, I ended up working in both of my watercolor journals. Last week I shared that I have um, the Arteza watercolor journal and I also have this handbook journal company watercolor journal. So let's just go ahead and get started with the flip through for this week. And at the end, I'm going to flip through all of the, the butterflies that I've created so far. I started off week two with a Luna moth. I absolutely find them magical in every way and just had a lot of fun uh, creating that Luna Moth. I also created a plain tiger butterfly and I love how these two look on this page spread. Now the colors in the plain tiger, I just Oh, I just love them. I used the White Knight set and I focused on the orange, which is the golden deep color for White Knights and the cadmium lemon color just to kind of make that those wings just kind of pop. It was a ton of fun just to play with that, um, play with those colors. Now, this one was a big fat no and I never even posted it. This is what happens when you paint without little light late at night in the dark. Everything looks great until you see it in the daylight. So I'm just going to let that fly. This one was the Blood Red Glider. And this, this flutter is so gorgeous in real life. I hope I, I hope I get to see one in real life. I used the Windsor Red and mixed it with a little bit of burnt sienna. Now the browns and the reds, are just so great together. And I'm not really, you know, hip on the browns, but I just love the way it came out. This one was the sweetest surprise for me. I just enjoyed, this is when I started to switch over to using some of the Da Vinci watercolors. And I really enjoyed creating this mocker swallowtail. She almost, she's a little bit wonky. Now in real life, she's a little bit wider, but I used the Da Vinci yellow, which is a beautiful yellow single pigment color. Love the Da Vinci version of, of that pigment. And it just 
felt like it was flying off the page. It was just a lot of fun and real quick, fast and loose watercolor. Now, this is the small brown azure uh, butterfly. And I don't love the browns. And I know I've said that. I don't love the neutrals. So I was kind of eh on this one. But I kind of enjoyed using the Da Vinci violet colors to, to make this flutter come alive. It was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. So I kind of went back and forth <laughs> between these two books. I, I just wanted to play in the 300 GSM watercolor book. So this is the Indian Leaf Butterfly. She's a little wonky, but hey, I loved it. I enjoyed trying to create her and make her come to life. This is the large green banded blue butterfly. And I'm going to tell you straight up, she is super wonky. Not in real life, but the way I painted her, she's kind of wonky. I really enjoyed using these combination of blues from the Da Vinci set. Cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and an indie blue, which is kind of like a Prussian blue to create that the outer edge and get that those blacks and the blues. I just had a lot of fun with her. So I'm just going to take a little quick walkthrough of everything, all the flutters I've painted so far. Just a fun little flip through just to kind of show you the different butterflies that I've created in case you've missed the first video uh, that I shared last week. Now, this project has been a ton of fun for me. Um, I'm just having a lot of fun playing with my different watercolor sets, getting to know them and how they work, playing with different color combinations. Some things I don't love, like you've heard me say about the neutrals and, and the browns, and some things I've just really enjoyed exploring how the watercolors and the watercolor brands kind of work together. I've just been having a ton of fun and it's been a big part of my self-care practice, just painting a little something every day. Some of the flutters I've spent a little more time on and I've added some more intense details to. Some of them haven't worked out as well as I would have liked them to, and but that's okay. It's just been a really fun practice. Now, all of the flutters that I've painted aren't like exact and precise, and sometimes their wings are a little bit wonky and a little off, but that's what makes it fun. And that's truly an indication of how I paint. I'm just, I paint, I am having fun, and sometimes everything I do is just a little bit wonky. Um, so here's the last two that I've painted in the Handbook Journal Co., um, watercolor book, which I really, I'm really enjoying that book. Hope you've enjoyed another walkthrough of my 100 Days of Flutters watercolor project. It's been a ton of fun so far. If you're interested in painting some whimsical and wonky flutters in watercolor, head on over to my classroom at craftyourjoy.com and use the code craftyourjoy to get $5 off this course. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And you can take a look at some of my other card and watercolor tutorials right here. Again, I'm so grateful you could join me and I'll see you next time.